हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द मैथ क्लास स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ चैप्टर परमोटेशन एंड कॉम्बिनेशन दिस चैप्टर मेनली रिलेटेड विद द अरेंजमेंट एंड द सिलेक्शन ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट्स हियर परमोटेशन मींस अरेंजमेंट एंड कॉम्बिनेशन मीन सिलेक्शन ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट्स The selection may be of anything. Now, its objectives are first factorial and its application. Second objective, fundamental principle of counting, which help us for arranging the elements or finding the ways to find the number of arrangements. Third is application of the permutation formula. it is again used for finding the number of arrangements of the objects fourth is permutations when all the objects are different and same case when the objects are not different here we will discuss the two cases for different and for indifferent objects and the last objective is combination when all the objects are different so these are the objectives of this chapter so let's start with the first objective that is factorial and its application factorial is the continued product of first n natural numbers it is denoted with like this factorial n or you can use the sign of exclamatory also n factorial and it is equal to the sum product of first n natural numbers we will start from the number n and continuous decrease by 1 till 3 into 2 into 1 so it is n into n minus 1 n minus 2 and so on last will be 3 into 2 into 1 for example 5 factorial we have to start with the same number so it is 5 decrease by 1 that is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 because it is a natural number so it will be till 1 only so when you multiply all these numbers you will get the value of factorial 5 that is 120 now it depends upon the question how much factorial we need for example 5 factorial is equal to the, the product of these numbers but we can write down the rest of the numbers that is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 as a four factorial so in this way whatever the required in the question we will solve the factorial up to that term only now notice here zero factorial is always equal to 1 remember this value and one factorial is also one now let's do one the application of the factorial we will apply factorial in both the cases in case of permutation and in case of combination we are having a formula for permutation it is npr and it can be expressed as terms of factorial that is npr is equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial similarly for combination formula is ncr and it can be expressed in the form of factorial ncr equal to n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial now let's take an example for example we have to solve 6p2 here value of n is 6 and value of r is so when you solve it put the value here. n factorial means 6 factorial upon 6 minus 2 is 4 is 4 factorial now we here 6 and 4 are there so we will solve 6 till 4 factorial only so it will become 6 into 5 into 4 factorial and the denominator 4 factorial as it is now these two terms will cancel out so answer is 6 into 5 that is 30 similarly in the combination i have taken the same example 6c2 
value of n is 6. This is the value of n and this is the value of r. Again say, apply the formula n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial. So, it will become 6 factorial upon 2 factorial into 6 minus 2 is 4 factorial. Again, 6 and 4 are closer factorial. So, we will solve 6 factorial till 4. So, again, 6 into 5 into 4 factorial and 2 factorial can be written as 2 into 1 into 4 factorial. Here, these terms are cancelled out. So, 2, 3 is a 6. So, answer is 15. In this way, we can find the permutation and combination. Now, again, it is an application. So, find n if n p 5 is equal to 42. Here no sign is there. It means multiply n p 3. Now, p is there. It means we have to apply the formula of permutation. And formula is n p r is equal to n factorial upon n minus r factorial. Now, here apply the formula in both cases. Here n is same. R is 5 and here R is 3. So, apply the formula. It will become N factorial upon N minus 5 factorial equal to 42 as it is into here N factorial upon N minus 3 factorial. Now, look here. We have to do the calculation. Here N factorial and N factorial are same. So, these two terms will cancel out. Now, we are left with 1 upon n minus 5 factorial is equal to 42 into, here we will solve the factorial, 1 upon n minus 3, again decrease by 1, so it will become n minus 4 into n minus 5 factorial. We will solve till 5 factorial only. So here n minus 5 factorial will cancel out with the n minus 5 factorial. Now cross multiply here, you will get n minus 3 into n minus 4 is equal to 42. When you solve these brackets, you will get n square minus 3n minus 4n plus 12 is equal to 42. Now, on combining the terms, we will get a quadratic equation that is n square minus 7n minus 30 is equal to 0. Now, here sum is minus 7 and product is minus 30. So, factors are plus 10 and sorry minus 10 plus 3. So, when you put the value like this, here n is common. So, n into n minus 10 plus 3 into n minus 10 is equal to 0. So, factors are n minus 10 into n plus 3 is equal to 0. When you simplify, you will get two values that is n is equal to 10 or n is equal to minus 3. Now here we have considered n as a number of objects and it can't be negative. So n is equal to minus 3 rejected. So we are left with n is equal to 10 only. Let's take one more example for the combination. If 2nc3 ratio and c3 is equal to 11 ratio 1 then find n here c is there it means we have to apply the formula for the combination it is n c r is equal to n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial so put the value here 2n factorial upon 3 factorial into 2n minus 3 factorial. Ratio changes to divide. So it is n factorial upon 3 factorial into n minus 3 factorial equal to 11 upon 1. Now divide changes into multiplication. So here it will reciprocal. So, 2n factorial into 3n, 3 factorial into 2n minus 3 factorial multiply 3 factorial into n minus 3 factorial upon n factorial. Now, we have to solve the factorials. Here, 2n and 2n minus 3, these are the nearby factorials. So, we will solve the bigger one till 3. 
So it will become 2n into 2n minus 1, 2n minus 2 into 2n minus 3 factorial. Here 3 factorial cancel with the 3 factorial. Now next factorials are n minus 3 and n factorial. So these are the nearby factorials. So we will solve n till n minus 3. So we get n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3. It is equal to 11 upon 1. Now 2n minus 3 factorial cancel with 2n minus 3 factorial. n minus 3 factorial cancel with n minus 3 factorial. Here n cancel with n. So write down the left out terms. It is 2 into 2n minus 1. Here in this factor 2 is common. So I have written 2 into n minus 1. Then here this will come in the denominator. So n minus 1 into n minus 2 is equal to 11 upon 1. Now again you can see that n minus 1 is cancelling with n minus 1. So we are left with 2 to the 4 into 2n minus 1 upon n minus 2 is equal to 11 upon 1. Here when you do the cross multiply we get 4 to the 8n minus 4 is equal to 11n minus 22. Now click the like terms so it will become 8n. Here 11 and shifted on that side it will become minus and 4 shifted on this side it will become plus. So we are left with 8n minus 11n is equal to minus 22 plus 4. Here minus 3n is equal to minus 18. So when minus cancel with minus. So from here we will get the value of n that is 18 upon 3. So after cutting it is 3, 6 are 18. So number of terms are 6. In this way we can find the value of n. Let's take one more example. Before starting with the example, there are some results that we have to note down. That is NC0 and NCN are having same value. That is always equal to 1. You can check this value by using the formula of combination also. Now second is NC1 is always equal to NCN-1. And their values is always equal to n and third property is very very important that is if two combination terms are equal that is nca is equal to ncb then two conditions are there either a is equal to b or n is equal to a plus b we will apply this property in our next example now for example if Find R if 15C 3R is equal to 15C R plus 3. You can see here 15, 15 that is a value of N is same. Same as in third property. So, we will start from the equal to sign. Now here N is 15 and value of A is N is 15. Value of A is that is 3R and B is R plus 3. So when you apply the property either A is equal to B implies 3R is equal to R plus 3. Or second N is equal to A plus B put the value N is equal to A is 3R B is R plus 3. Now here when you simplify you will get Shifting R on the left hand side, it will become minus. So 3R minus R is equal to 3. From here we will get 2R is equal to 3 or R is equal to 3 by 2. Now 3 by 2 is in fraction and when you solve it you will get the decimal. A number of things can't be an integer, can't be in fraction. So, R is not equal to 3 by 2. So, it is rejected. In the second case, when N is equal to 3R plus R plus 3, here when you simplify, you will get 4R plus 3. Put the value of N, that is 15. 
15 is equal to 4r minus 3. Here when you shift 3 on the left hand side, you will get 15 minus 3 is 12. So from here we get the value of r that is 3. So finally value of r is 3. Students, I hope you are able to solve some related to these types given in your book. So before starting the questions given in your book and explained in the SNAP homework, go through the links guided in the SNAP homework. Rest we will continue in our next class. Thank you.